On the very day New Hampshire was getting battered by a March nor'easter, Governor Chris Sununu received a phone call about the other storm brewing in Washington. It came from New Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price wanting to know his thoughts about the Republican plan to replace Obamacare. Uh, so they have reached out. Um, what, we'd, what I'd like to see is a little more flexibility. Uh, there's still a lot of mandates in there. Um, there's still a lot of requirements that don't necessarily meet the needs of our state. This is an attack upon our most vulnerable citizens. Earlier in the week at Concord Hospital, a chorus of outrage about a plan that many believe will simply decimate Medicaid, citing benefits that more than 4,000 New Hampshire nursing home residents depend on. People are not going to stop aging in the state of New Hampshire. Phil Spagnolo says the ACA literally saved his life a couple of years ago as it allowed him to access treatment for the common struggle of addiction. Now he's a licensed recovery coach. We have a whole generation of kids out there that are struggling because of this opioid epidemic. And if we cut funding for these services, we're just throwing those people away. For many opponents of Obamacare, the individual mandate requiring the purchase of insurance is central to repeal. But Senator Jean Shaheen insists that without everyone kicking in, the long-term model fails. Unless they've got a better way to do it, and what they proposed in their Republican plan doesn't look like a better way to me, um, I think it will be very hard to get rid of um, the requirement that everybody have health insurance. We'll see what happens, but currently more than 140,000 Granite Staters get health insurance through Medicaid. Roughly a third of those are through expanded Medicaid program that was made possible by the Affordable Care Act.